How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to go over three helpful tweaks you should make on your Kindle Fire HDX. And these are just some basic things I recommend. Um, tweaks I made right out of the box. Um, that kind of help me to use it a little more fluidly and are just useful things to do. So here's the first one. The first one is we're going to go actually swipe down here. Go to our settings. And we want to go to uh, device. And we want to turn on show battery percentage in the status bar. Right now, all we see is just the battery symbol. But if we turn this on, now we can actually see the exact percentage that our battery is at. And, you know, this is really important for when you're using it. Um, just so, you know, when it's getting low, you know a lot of times you can't judge it by that little indicator on the screen. So that's the first tweak. Here's the second one. We're going to go uh, scroll up to keyboards. Go to keyboard settings, and then we want to turn on sound on key press. Now, this is a preferential thing, so some of you may like it, some of you may not. I personally like to be able to hear the keys when I hit them because it kind of like it gives me some extra indication of if I'm hitting the keys. And you know, sometimes you think you hit it, but you didn't hit it, so that's why I turn this on. And so, just to give you a little uh, example, um, now I'm typing and I can hear it okay so it just you know it's, it's a small thing but uh, I don't know I like to be able to hear the keys when I'm typing it just kinda helps me out so if, you, if you're not feeling that don't turn it on but for me that's something I do here's the last one we're gonna scroll down again here go to settings and this time we want to go to display and sounds and go all the way to the bottom where it says uh, display sleep so normally this is always set really low when you first get it. I like to put it on like five minutes because what tends to happen if it's on a low setting, for example, one minute or 30 seconds, um, every time you don't touch the screen after a minute or 30 seconds, it just dims itself. And it can be annoying depending on what you're doing. Maybe you're just reading and you know like you don't want it to just go off that fast so I always set it a little bit higher just so that um, I have a little more flexibility in terms of how often I have to touch the screen so anyway these have been three useful tips um, three useful tweaks to make on your Kindle Fire HDX these also apply on the ki the new Kindle Fire HD as well and uh, Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like the video, favorite it, share it, uh, subscribe to Tech Videos. Check out us on uh, Facebook, H2 Tech Videos, or it's uh, facebook.com slash H2 Tech Videos. We're going to be doing some big giveaways in the holiday season, and it's only going to be exclusive to our followers on Instagram and our followers on Facebook. So make sure you uh, are following us on those networks. Take care and have a good one.